Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And uh, today I have some cool gear to review for you guys today. These are the Advanced Tactical V2 Knee Pads by Blackhawk. So, kind of a long name, doesn't really roll off the tongue, you know. Sounds kind of uh, gimmicky, I guess you will. But they, all you need to know is these are Blackhawk V2 Knee Pads. That's, where you, that's what most places are going to sell these as. But, um... These are very cool, very nice option if you're in the market looking for knee pads. And uh, I got a lot of confusion, I guess, from my unboxing video. A lot of people wondering why I need knee pads. <clears throat> these were mainly meant for military and law enforcement officers because these are, you know, quote unquote, tactical. You know, I am not at all trying to, uh, I guess you could say, be a poser, if you will. And I'm not trying to convey an image of anybody who is quote-unquote tactical. That's not what I'm trying to do. I got these for outdoor use only. So I don't wear these out on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we've been doing a lot of yard work recently, working out in the garden. We started, we're starting a garden this year, doing a lot of tilling, putting down some fresh soil. And I've been wearing these while doing yard work because I can bend down in the soil without getting the, the, uh, the leg of my pants um, dirty and wet uh, because that can destroy your clothing you know it's not that I'm a prissy pretty boy or anything like that you know but if I can help it I don't want to get my knees wet because then I'm gonna get cold depending on the time of year and you know it, dirt breaks down any kind of material I don't care if you have ripstop nylon BDUs it's gonna break down the material over time so if I can help it I'd rather have something to protect my knees from from the elements and of course from shark shark <laughs> sharp jagged objects so that's why I got these and for outdoor <clears throat> just like hiking camping whatever like I said to protect my knees so let's just talk about these knee pads I'm just gonna talk about this one since they're identical <laughs> so like I said these are the Black Hawk V2s obviously you can see they're in black these also come in a coyote brown OD green foliage green and I believe they have a multicam version. It may be a different, may have been a different knee pad, but just check them out. So, like I said, um, these are all black. Uh, very nice. It's it says it's an injection molded, uh, what they call a flex cap. Now that is a trademark by Blackhawk, I'm assuming. And it just says injection molded, but it is feels like a rubberized type of polymer. It is very very tough yet somewhat flexible. So I'm assuming it's just a type of rubberized, like, high-quality plastic. But it is very nice and very durable. Um, and it is held together on a 600 denier nylon frame. And that's that high-quality Cordura nylon. Uh, very, very thick with uh, closed foam cell padding on the back and on the side tabs right here. So you got the closed cell foam padding, which is very nice. It's going to uh, it's going to wick sweat off of you slightly. Um, and I'll get to that in just a little bit, but you can see it has a tag on the back uh, for your name and date or issue date, and it also says right. So you know this goes on your right knee. <clears throat> the other one has the same same paper on it. It just says left. So you know right from the left, you know, but it's pretty easy because these these flaps go on the outside of your leg. So that's an easy way to remember if something happens to this paper. Um, so like I said, closed uh, cell foam padding. And you can kind of lift that up and see down in there. I don't know if you can see, I have that little piece of foam. Very nice, thick foam. And that is, uh, they called it a, uh, a knee shelf, something like that. But it's just a little uh, padded shelf so your kneecap rests against that and the knee pad won't. Uh, move down off of your knee. So that is a nice design. It is very, very well contoured and just very, very thick uh, padding. And I like that, but it's very comfortable. Uh, as I said, these, uh, these side flaps that go around your leg are also th uh, heavily padded for uh, extra comfort. And uh, what you have here are, they're kind of a bungee. It's an elastic material that they use. Uh, Schmog's getting all crooked. <laughs> it's a bungee strap, so that's very nice, with um, some hook and loop, or Velcro, whatever you want to call it, material. And it lashes to these polymer D-rings, these little clasps. 
So what you would do is you would put these on your knee, feed those through the little um, plastic D-ring, I guess you'd call it that, and just put it into place, just however it fits you. And it, it does retain very well, and the fact, like I said, these are elastic is going to make these very comfortable. So I do really like that feature. Now another knee pad I was looking at, the Alta knee pads. Uh, you would adjust it for your leg, and it also had a polymer or metal clasp that would hook and lock into the knee pad itself. So once you adjust it one time, you just unhook it, <clears throat> hook it back up. You don't have to feed it through like this system. So a, a downside to this system as opposed to that knee pad is that um, you will have to take these straps off and readjust them to fit your leg each and every time you put these on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not a huge problem. It's definitely not a deal breaker. It's just a slight difference. Um, but like I said, this, this cap is held on to the Cordura frame with these uh, metal rivets. I actually believe these are brass, but I'm not 100% not sure, but they are powder coated, so it looks very nice. See the Black Hawk logo stamped in the front. Um, also a nice feature I will note about this is that you see these um, more flexible rubber tabs on the side and these little trenches milled out from the underneath the cap. Uh, that allows this knee pad to flex and bend to the curvature of your knee. So that's also a very nice feature for when you're kneeling in these knee pads or just while walking. So that is very nice. So these aren't so rigid. They will give to the flex of your, your knee a little bit. So I do really like that feature as well. So I also want to note that I got these off of uh, cheaperthandirt.com, a very nice website. I got these for $17.99. So that is an incredible deal. It was $25 after shipping and everything. And uh, also something else to note, these came in a, a mesh Blackhawk bag. The little carrying bag with a, a cord lock and some drawstring. So that's very nice. You don't have to put them in there. You can use this for other things, of course. So it's just very nice. They didn't have to include that, but they did. They went the extra mile and gave you a nice little uh, pouch to put them in, or a little bag to put them in. All right, guys, never mind the fact that I'm wearing totally non-tactical pants. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to show you how they will look on you uh, and how they fit. Um, these will make your pant legs bunch up a little bit no matter what you're wearing, especially if you're wearing BDUs. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your knee pad and hold it stationary and just kind of pull the, the leg of your pant down because um, sometimes the material on your pant leg will bunch up in that crease behind your knee and it's just slightly irritating. Um, you can see I have these adjusted kind of tight, so there's a little bit of uh, the flap sticking out here. But you can take a rubber band or a hair tie and kind of lash that in place so that it keeps out of the way. Um, these are very comfortable, like I said, but it does take some getting used to because, you know, you're not used to wearing stuff on your knees a whole lot. You know, so when you walk, it's still very comfortable, but it's still something that you got to get used to. Because you can, you can feel these, and these might kind of bunch up in the crease of your knee. You just kind of have to adjust those slightly. And uh, they might ride up a little bit, depending on how tight you have these on your leg. So you do spend some time adjusting these until they fit just right. Um, like I said, these are very hard, very padded. Here's a handle of a screwdriver. You know, can't feel that at all. Uh, these are just incredible. Very, very heavily padded and very durable. Um, these do, I'm not going to lie, these do look pretty cool. You know, you walk, I wouldn't walk around out in public with these just because there's no point. But, uh, you know, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be a poser, but these do look very cool. And, you know, if you are into the airsofting, like a lot of guys are, or paintball, and you want to try to look more of the part and serve some function, uh, or, and to have them serve a purpose, then I highly recommend these Black Hawk knee pads or any of these military style knee pads. Here's a quick demonstration of um, how they work when you're kneeling down. And uh, there's a slight gap right here. I don't know if you can see, there's a slight gap. It's no big deal, but you can really see how these flex, which you know, that's the reason behind the, you know, the rubberized part right there. So that is very nice. I do love that because it makes these very comfortable when crouching down. Um, 
Just one thing to note, uh, these, these straps can sometimes pinch the underside of your knee, and it may be a little uncomfortable, but it's not that big a deal. It doesn't do it all the time. Um, one more thing that I do want to note about these is that when you're wearing these for an extended period of time, uh, especially if you're working outside, you get hot, whatever, uh, these will make your knees sweat like crazy. <laughs> so it's kind of counterintuitive to the purpose of uh, wearing these to keep your knees dry because these will make your knees sweat if you're doing extensive work in these in uh, certain types of uh, weather conditions. So be wary of that. Like here again, that's not a deal breaker at all. The closed foam cell should breathe and it probably does breathe better than some other knee pads. But I'm just saying, from my personal experience, these will make your knees sweat. But it's no, it's no huge deal. Like I said, these are very comfortable to kneel down on hard surfaces. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, like I said, if you're looking into a nice, high-quality, yet affordable knee pad, uh, I definitely highly recommend these Blackhawk knee pads. But also look into the Alta knee pads. Uh, they're also very high-quality and around the same price. So, hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Of course, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments box, guys. All right. Everybody have a great day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.